friend. They never come in my yard. Because my grass is so short. There's nothing to eat. I am surprised they didn't touch the berries. Let's go pick them quick. Why is there something rather than nothing? It's this we aim to answer with something we call the PSR, or the Principle of Sufficient Reason. Hello, my name is Andy, and you're watching Exploring the Holos. Thank you for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. Everyone uses the PSR, even though they probably don't know it. They don't know what the PSR is, but they go through its steps to make decisions and find truth every day without actually realizing it. Um, but by consciously applying the PSR, we can find truth. By applying the PSR, we can answer all the doubts that Rene Descartes um, created with his method of doubt that we discussed in previous videos. Existence is governed by the flawless, rational structure rooted in the PSR. The principle of sufficient reason states, for something to exist, there must be a sufficient reason that it, that it exists that way and no other way. Anything that doesn't have a reason is impossible. A quote from, a quote from Morgan in his book, um, this all comes from his book, Metarationalism. Um, you can find other sources of information about the PSR, and I've read about it in other books. But mainly we're going to be stating um, the PSR as stated in Metarationalism by Moore, the second book in the Neogenian series. Uh, that one right there. Okay, uh, Morg's quote says, Whether you start with God, the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations, or any other concept, Morg says in the book that... Uh, whether you start with God, the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations, or any other concept, the challenge remains, how do you account for the existence of the starting point? Simply stating that something exists through an unknown force, randomness, or a miracle is not an explanation. It's ignorance. And that's why I feel like the PSR is the most important part of understanding existence. Um, it's the bedrock of meta-rationalism. And reason is the bedrock of all reality because reason equates reason implies mathematics mathematics implies reason they go hand in hand um, so the laws of mathematics power the PSR through mathematical logic 2 plus 2 equals 4 always and for every ever always eternally everywhere no matter where you are in the universe, if you're an alien race, you use the same mathematics. It may be notated different because humans created the notation and the numbers, um, how we write the numbers, but mathematics, the law, existed eternally. And that's what governs reason, and that's what governs everything. Um, yeah. Two plus... 2 plus 2 can never equal 5 because it's illogical. And um, you can never have a square circle because, by definition, a square and a circle are two different things, and it's impossible. And God can never change mathematical law. Mathematical law is eternal. And um, that's kind of what got me into this. When I was in school studying electronics, and everything came down to equations, and everything could be found with equations and math. It just clicked that math is always correct, and you can switch things around and use a different equation, and it will bring you back around to find the same answer. But the equations have to be correct. If you have the right information plugged in, the mathematics will never fail you. It's correct every time, and it can't be proven wrong. It never has been. And um, a PSR shows that mathematics is 
a conceptual reality where each part exists because it's implied by the others. In other words, the existence of each part is the sufficient reason for the other parts. Existence must exist because if non-existence existed, it would be something. Thus, it's existing. So then it wouldn't be non-existence anymore. See what we're getting at? Existence is necessary because there is no reason to prevent it. Our existence is necessary and eternal because there's no reason. Our existence is necessary because there's no reason to prevent it. Us as minds or zetas are logically necessary. No external creator beyond reason is necessary. Only reason is necessary to create everything. And if you read Meta-Rationalism, it does a great job starting from nothing, showing how nothing becomes something, and then everything is created from that. It's, it's so um, complete. This book is very, very good. It's probably my favorite book that I've ever read so far. And uh, that's a lot of books. So, reason is the pure living mathematical structure. The mathematical structure of, of existence creates perpetual motion. From this motion, life, thought, and everything else is derived. No God is required. I will go into the further, I'll further go into the Fourier transformations in a future video, I think. But um, it may be a while. I would have to study up on that. That's a little bit more complex. I kind of get the gist of it, but to do a video like this, it's a little... This is like the hardest type of video I do, guys. Um, I can't do it off of... Even though I have an understanding of it, to do it off of the top of my head is difficult. I have to write it down, and then I feel like it's kind of cheesy because I'm like reading it off my notes and uh, looking down all the time, so... Um, the principle of sufficient reason is basically a way of understanding reality. Anything that exists must have a reason why it exists that way and no other way. And if it doesn't have a sufficient reason for existing that way, then it does not exist. And if you consciously go through this system, it will lead you to truth. Um, so, I believe this is section four in Meta-Rationalism. So, if you're interested, you can find this book on Amazon. You can download it on Kindle. It comes in hardcover or softcover. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Adios for my friends.